I'm going to teach you a really awesome thing that you can do in your model driven app that not a lot of people know about. So you're really skilling up watching this video. What I'm going to show you is how you can add what's called a form component control onto your main form, which means that you can edit another record. Let me show you how we do this. I'm in my form editor here. And what I want to do is replace this column on the right hand side with an editable thing for the primary contact. So I've already done a save as I'm not working on the main form here so that I can mess this up as much as I like. I'm going to delete all of those bits and leave a new section there. Now, the first thing I need to do here is to bring in the lookup field of the thing, the form that I want to edit. So this is an account and I want to bring in the primary contact to make that editable. So it's the contact lookup that I need here. Go across to my table columns and I'm going to find contact and there it is there. There's the lookup, we bring that across. Now, while I'm here, I'm also going to give this a bit of a tidy up. I'm gonna hide the label and I'm also gonna give it a little bit more space on the screen here. So if I click on the whole tab with my formatting, I'm going to make these sort of 33, 33 all the way across, just so that that has a bit more space. We're going to save and publish that. And then I'm gonna to need to switch to classic. We don't need to do that very often anymore, but there are a few little things that are still left here. This screen can sometimes take a minute or so to come up. It was pretty fast then, but don't freak out if you get a spinning wheel for a while. From there, we're gonna go into primary contact and click on the change properties button. We're gonna go into this tab called controls, add a control. And the one I want here is called form component control. And we add that and then we say, yes, please, let's have that across all of the different interfaces. Now, one final step, we're going to go into forms and click on this little edit icon. And we need to put now stay with me here. I'm going to make this easy for you. A little XML snippet in here. You're going to need a couple of things open to make this work. First of all, I'm going to have notepad. Grab this little snippet here from the description and paste it into notepad. This is the formula that we're going to use. And all we need to do here is find our table name, which in this case will be those contacts that we want to bring in and the form ID, which is the form that we want to bring in. So the way to get those two bits of information, you'll have another tab open just with make.powerapps.com. We're going to go into the data menu and tables here. Find the table that you want to bring in. In this case, we're bringing in the primary contact and there's the contact table name. Now, in this case, contact is called contact. It's a nice, neat out of the box one. You'll see I've got some others in here that I've built as custom tables that have prefixes and so on. Whatever it is for your table, just grab that schema name in there. You're going to go back into notepad and where it says table name, you're going to replace that with the table name. All right. So far, so good. Form ID is the other thing we need. So back into our make.powerapps experience here, we're going to click through to contact, click through to forms, and then find the form that you want to bring in. So you can design one specifically for this if you want. I'm just going to use the standard main form for contact, open that in the editor. And then in the URL at the top here, where you get to the edit forward slash, grab this little code here all the way along to the question mark, but not including a question mark. Copy that, control C, back to my notepad and paste that over the top of there. Good, all right, <laughs> we did it. Grab all of that now, copy that. We can minimize notepad, we're not gonna need that one anymore. And go back to this screen and we're gonna pop that into there and okay. And you just made XML, <laughs> all right, click okay, that's it. We're just going to save and publish from the classic experience here and then we can close that tab. All right, back in our app. Check it out. How good is this? So now I'm looking at my account and I've got my primary contact here and this is now fully editable. Let's get rid of sample there for a start. Maybe Renee is now the purchasing manager. We can save that and that is now editing that contact record in the context of the account. You can use this all over the place if you're working with an opportunity and you need to update customer details or a customer service case and you want to be able to enter and update those details. I've also done it here for those who follow my little equipment ordering app in my other tutorials. This is where we've got a read only quick view. You can also pop it in as a whole separate tab here. So I've got that editable thing in there. Let's say the price of this one has changed from 280 to 290 and I find out about that as I'm placing an order. I can do that in context without having to switch around back and forth. So there you go. 
cool little trick for your model driven apps. Let me know how you think you might use that. And you're ahead of the game if you know this one. I haven't seen a lot of people using this. I've got a whole series of model driven app tutorials here. Make sure you check that out to learn even more awesome things.